In this video, we are going to see as soon as a subscriber is created in MailChimp, then how automatically you can send a WhatsApp message to the person informing him about the successful subscription. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and ask me to that. Here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, we can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached the applications page. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see another tab, which is create workflow. So I'm going to click on this. Now here we have to mention our objective, basically the name of our workflow. So here my objective is every time a new subscriber is created in MailChimp, then a WhatsApp message should be sent to the subscriber notifying him about the membership. So I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp messages to MailChimp subscribers. Let's click on create. And as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now in this integration, my trigger application would be MailChimp. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow run and it would be new subscriber. So this workflow is going to run every time a new subscriber is added to MailChimp. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting MailChimp with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this. And once we have done this, we have to follow the following steps. This is the help desk. So as you follow this, you will be able to set up the integration. So now I'm going to show you. First, we are going to go to MailChimp. I've already logged in. So this is my MailChimp account. We have to go to audience. So within audience, here you can see manage audience. As you click on this, you will be seeing settings. Let's click on this. And now as we scroll down, this is webhooks. Let's click on this. And now I'm going to create a new webhook. As I do that, here you are asked to paste the callback URL. So this is the same URL that you had received here. I'm going to copy this once again, go back to MailChimp and paste this over here. Now, since we are creating a subscriber, so as per this integration, every time a subscriber is created, then this workflow should run. So I'm going to select subscribes as updates and rest I'm going to unsubscribe. And then as I come down, so here you can see it is written, select the subscribes checkbox and all the three options under only send updates when a change is made. So the three options are by a subscriber, by an account admin and via the API. So I've checked all of these and now I'm going to click on save. So once we have done that here, we can see that the setup is all done. The webhook has been created and now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on recapture webhook response. And here you can see it is asking us to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So going back to MailChimp here, I'm going to go to the sign up forms. Let's click on this. And let's go to form builder now. Yeah. So basically this is a template already been created to subscribe for the new subscribers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this sign up form URL and open this in a new tab. So you can paste it and then every time the person clicks on it, so they would be able to reach this page. So now I'm going to fill in the details. Let's say the first name is test. The last name is user. Now the email address is test user at pablitudes.com. Then we have the mobile number. So it is and now the gender is male. Let's click on subscribe. So once we have done this, we have to quickly confirm and let's click on subscribe. So here we can see that the subscription has been confirmed. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the API response over here. And yes, we have received the same. So this is the type subscription then fired at. So this is the time. And then we have the mobile number. 
here we have the gender then the last name first name email address and then we have the list id and this here is the email address so once we have received this api response what is my objective i want to send a whatsapp message to this person to this user who has just subscribed so for this i'm going to choose my action application as interact let's click on this and now the action event here would be to send whatsapp template message let's click on connect and now pabli connect is asking to connect itself with the interact account so i'm going to click on add new connection and here we have to provide the secret key to set up this connection so how can we get this first you have to log into your interact account then this is the hyperlink as you click on this you will reach this page so i had already logged in and now i'm going to copy the secret key that we have just received go back to public connect and paste this over here let's click on save to set up this connection so once this is done here it is asking me for the country code phone number full phone number template code name etc now the thing is that the number that we have received is without the country code so here i'm going to enter the country code and i'm writing this manually because for my country this is the only country code so you can change it as per your country now comes the phone number so i'm going to map this how do i do that as i click on this it is showing me the previous step and as we click on that here we can see all the responses that we had just received and this here is the mobile number so this is the country code and this here is the mobile number now once we have entered this we do not have to enter this field full phone number so if you have received your response with the country code and the plus sign then you do not have to enter these two fields you can simply enter the full phone number here now once this is done let's go up and here we have to enter the template code name what are these templates templates are pre-written whatsapp messages that you can send as per your use now i'm going to show you all the templates that we have created by clicking on this hyperlink here so these are the different templates that have already been created now i'm going to show you this template that i've just created so here you can see first of all the name is new subscriber then the language selected is english now here we have the header option so if you want to add a text image video or document as a header you can do that then comes the body and here i have got the message hey and then there is a number within double curly braces thanks for being a subscriber in mailchimp you will be getting regular emails from us at another number regards team another number now what are these numbers these numbers are basically variables that can be changed with every message so every time there's a new subscriber of course the name email address would be different so i do not have to frame different messages again again as these variables can be changed now if you want to add a footer you can do that and if you want to add call for action buttons you can add them here now i'm not adding anything here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to to take the name so this here is the code of this template so i'm going to copy this go back to pabli connect and paste the code here done now the language code is en for english next is the header value so since we have not selected any header we don't have to paste anything here otherwise you could have pasted the url or mapped the url now comes the body variable values as per the template we had three variables first where we had to enter the name second where we had to enter the email address of the person and third where we had to enter the name of the company and how do we map that basically we have to just map these three values here write these three values here separated with commas how do we do this as i click on this first of all i need the name so here this is the name test i'll put a comma now what do i need email address of the person so this is the email address and now i need the name of the company now this is not to be mapped this is a static information so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write this manually done next is the position of cta button and the value of variable in dynamic url since we did not select any cta button so i'm going to leave these two fields blank and now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as we do that here we can see that we have received the response which seems like positive let me show you 
and this is my whatsapp and and yes here we have received a message hey test thanks for being a subscriber in mailchimp you will be getting regular emails from us at test user at pablitudes.com regards team pabli connect so this basically means that our integration process is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to mailchimp and now i'm going to copy this once again open this in a new tab over here and now we are going to fill in this form once again so let's say the name is new now the last name here is user12 email address is new user12 at pablitudes.com then here we have the mobile number which is and now the gender let's say it is female i'm going to click on subscribe so let's confirm that i'm not a robot and let's click on subscribe as soon as i do that here we can see that the subscription has been confirmed and here we can see that we have received another message hey new and then this is the body and here you can see that the mail id has been mapped and then we have the name of the company so this basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where our trigger application is MailChimp. The event is new subscriber. Then our action application is Interact where the event is to send WhatsApp template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.